Sarah Piat was born on August 11, 1836. Her parents were Talbot Nelson and Mary Spears Bryant. She has a very interesting connection. Her grandfather, Morgan Bryan, was the brother-in-law of Daniel Boone. He also helped settle Bryan's station in Fayette County. Her family moved to Woodford County when she was three. Her mother died in 1844 when Sarah was eight. Sarah and her sister moved around and lived with relatives, a grandmother and then an aunt named Miss Boone. She attended and earned a degree at the Henry Female College in Newcastle, Kentucky. Piet was inspired to become a poet. Her earliest writings were published in the Galveston News in Texas. George Prentice, the famous Louisville writer editor, published some of her work in the Louisville Journal and became a mentor to Sarah. Sarah married another poet, John James Piet. On June 18, 1861, John got a job in DC and their family moved there. They also moved to North Bend, Ohio in 1867. In 1871, Sarah published her most famous work, A Woman's Poem. She and her husband worked on her next few books together. Her husband got a job in Ireland, and the family moved there in 1882. She wrote most of her books while living in Ireland. Her husband died in 1917, and the family moved back to Ohio. She moved to New Jersey and lived with her son until she died on December 22, 1919. She is buried in the Spring Grove Cemetery in Cincinnati. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Sarah Morgan Piet. She was a very famous poet in America and Europe who was born and grew up in Kentucky. She has published a lot of works and a list of her works will be in the description. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.